Hey what's going on everybody, Jason here, and welcome back to another Zombies video. In this video, this is going to be a discussion video on how I think they can fix the objective-based formula for the future. Now I know the Vanguard Zombies life cycle is basically at its end, and this video might be a little bit late, but this topic ended up being a topic of discussion on the Division Z podcast with K Cosmic, and I wanted to make a video about it. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into how I think the objective-based formula can be fixed. One major thing that I have to get out of the way first is that this is going to be a completely hypothetical situation. Based on the community's feedback with objective-based and vanguard zombies, I think it's safe to say that it's never coming back. However, in this hypothetical thought experiment, Treyarch wants to give another crack at objective-based for 2024. First things first, I think they need to make slight changes to the objectives themselves. The Blitz objective is already okay, and it's very similar to the holdout objective on Outbreak. However, I think because of the map layouts of Duron Fong and Terra Maledictus, it made the Blitz objectives not as enjoyable. So I think that the Blitz objective has a good chance to improve with a completely new map. Again, that's completely hypothetical because we don't have a new map in front of us, but that's what I think. The Sacrifice objective needs to be shorter. The Sacrifice objective being 3 minutes right off the bat is kind of ridiculous in my opinion. It makes the early rounds drag out even more so, and if you're doing a Sacrifice objective on an early round like round 1, 2, or 3, then the game will definitely feel like it's dragging in the early rounds. If they wanted to increase the duration of the sacrifice objective in the later rounds to replicate you going up to a higher round and spending more time on a higher round, then I guess that's fine. However, for the lower rounds, I believe the sacrifice objective needs to be scaled. As for the harvest and transmit objectives, those can relatively stay the same. And the purge objective is already pretty simple and it's a good objective in my opinion, but I think as the rounds get higher, you can scale the amount of runes that you have to capture. So for example, you start the objective out in the earlier rounds by capturing 10 runes, but then by the time you make it up to round 70 or 80, you have to capture 30 or 40. Now, the reason why I am talking about scaling in these objectives is because in this hypothetical thought experiment, I am going to be harmonizing round-based and objective-based. And this marriage of the two game modes is simpler than you think. Going back to Black Ops 4 Zombies and even Black Ops Cold War Zombies, a huge gameplay emphasis was play the game however you want to play. You can customize your perks, your elixirs, your starting weapons, in Black Ops 4 for a more personalized experience. In Black Ops Cold War Zombies, you can start the game with any weapon you want, and the field upgrades give way to many different playstyles. So this idea goes back to the concept of playing the game however you want to play the game. And so, here is the idea. You spawn into the map, and you notice that it's round 1, and zombies will spawn in, and zombies will be the same as they are on round 1. You kill all the zombies, and you make it to round 2. So now we've established that the core of this map is going to be round-based. You make your way through the map, opening doors and barriers until you come across a portal. And this portal tells you that you could teleport to a particular area to complete an objective. And when you do this, it will replace the round that you're currently playing. So for example, if you make it to round 5 the normal round-based way, and you find the portal and you want to interact with the portal to complete an objective, the portal objective will be your round 5. And then, when you are done with the objective, you will return to round-based on round 6. And then, let's say on round 6 you don't feel like doing another objective, objective, you can just continue to climb through the rounds. Essentially, this idea boils down to, you can play the game as a normal round-based map, but if you want to do an objective, you can. Now, of course, doing an objective would grant you more rewards quicker than if you were to do round-based. Because, also in this hypothetical map, the same formula would follow. Every three rounds in round-based, you would earn a sacrificial heart, and then every time you complete an objective, you will earn a sacrificial heart. So, these optional objectives would be good for players to optimize their sacrificial heart earnings for the Tome of Rituals and the Altar of Covenants. And for the players that don't really mind earning a sacrificial heart every three rounds, they can just play normal round-based. But like I said earlier, this boils down to giving the player the option to play the game however they want to play it. So the objective portal will always be there on this hypothetical map, but you don't have to use it. And every round, the objective will change. So for example, if you don't feel like doing a purge objective, you can wait another round and then, oh look, it changed to a harvest objective. I want to do that one, and then you can do it. Instead of forcing players to only do objectives in an objective-based only game mode, you have the option to do an objective if you want to. This way, Zombie sticks to its roots of round-based. However, it adds a little bit of innovation for players who want to play the game differently. And as the rounds get higher and higher, the objectives will be more difficult, giving you that high-risk, high-reward factor. And this is why I mentioned scaling earlier in the video. Because as the rounds get higher, no doubt the zombies are going to be more difficult to take down. And because 
because later in the game, the Altar of Covenants has legendary covenants that are really good, maybe it should be a little more difficult to earn those if you want to earn them quickly. And of course, what I mean by earning them quickly is earning a sacrificial heart in an objective instead of waiting every three rounds. And just like the objectives do now in Duron Fong and Terra Maledicta, they give you points. And so when you complete an objective, let's say on round 90, you're going to be getting a ton of points to use. So again, it's a more difficult objective, but it's high risk, high reward. And that would also mean that these hypothetically scaled objectives would test your zombies' abilities. And one more thing to add on to this objective-based, round-based hybrid game mode, the Pack-a-Punch machine would be the normal Pack-a-Punch machine. And what I mean by that is that Tier 1 Pack-a-Punch would be 5,000 points. And for those of you who are wondering how an Easter egg would work on this hypothetical map, you can't have an Easter egg without core gameplay fundamentals. And in this video, I'm just going over the core gameplay fundamentals. I'll let you guys in the comment section debate on how an Easter egg would play out in this hypothetical situation. So overall, I think these slight adjustments harmonizing the objective-based formula with round-based could be a really good thing. And look, I know a lot of this might sound good on paper, just like how the objective-based formula sounded good on paper, and then in practice it wasn't that great, but hey, it's still fun to hypothesize. And since we're going to be waiting about another two years anyways for a new Zombies experience, I might as well share my feedback with Treyarch and share my idea with the community. So what do you guys think about my idea combining objective-based and round-based? Do you think it will work? Share your thoughts in the comments. Anyways guys, that's it for this video and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer and check out all the links down below in the description so you stay up to date with everything that I do. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night depending on where you are in this crazy world and I'll see you guys next time.